Hi everyone, Tiffany here from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. On this episode of Tips Tips Videos, we're going to be going over how I made my Star Guardian Nico crown from League of Legends. I first started off by getting a reference image of Nico from League of Legends of her head crown. Next, I made a two scale template in Adobe Illustrator. You can find this template available on my website, link below. I then imported my lines into Rhino 6 and made a 3D model of the head crown. Once I was happy with my 3D model, I then printed it in PETG material on a 3D printer. My printer, though, at the time had a loose wire, which caused the prints to have a little bit of some issues, to say the least, and so I had to clean them up using a sanding drum. To remove the stair step look that 3D printers have, I covered the entire piece in dot flexible spackling. Once they were dry, I then sanded each piece. For even further stair step removal, I sprayed a coat of sandable spray paint, and again sanded the pieces once they were dry. Next, I cut clear acrylic rods with a jeweler saw, and then sanded the acrylic rods. The reason for this is so that way the epoxy has something to grip onto. I then applied epoxy to the sanded part of the clear acrylic rod and inserted the rod into the 3D printed parts and let dry. Next, I masked off areas in preparation for painting. I first started off by painting a black coat of airbrush paint and then followed by a bronze gold color. Once they were dry, I masked off the painted areas and then airbrush painted a base coat of white followed by an iridescent pearl color. For the main star of the crown, I did a base coat of an iridescent green followed by gold. Once all the pieces were dry, I then removed the masking tape, and then painted the details by hand with black acrylic paint. Next, I sanded the bottom of the clear acrylic rods with sanding paper, and epoxied each piece into the base star. For attaching the crown to the wig, I 3D printed a head attachment piece, and then checked the fit. Then, I cut out four rectangular pieces from Warbla. Next, I heated up each Warbla piece with a heat gun. While the warbler strips were still hot, I attached them in a cross strip on top of a wig head, times two. Then I placed the 3D printed piece and covered it in warbler strips, making sure to leave the holes open. I then checked the fit. Next, I sanded the bottom part of magnets and epoxied them into the holes. I repeated the same process for the bottom part of the head star, and make sure the magnets are in the right direction before gluing. After this, I cut off the lace on the front part of my wig and placed the head attachment piece under the wig and marked with a sharpie on top where to cut the holes for the attachment pieces. I then used scissors to cut the three holes and pulled through the attachment pieces. To secure the attachment piece in place, I applied hot glue as well as to help lay the hair down flat. All that was left was to attach the crown to the wig and it was done. And that is how I made my Star Guardian Nico crown from League of Legends. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Tips Tips Videos, going over how I made my Star Guardian Nico crown from League of Legends. And if you like this video, remember to subscribe. Much love!